by nature, um, um, as regards the evolution of drug regulation, there is always or has always been uh, a strong interaction between, um, let's say, the private um, part, which are the vaccine manufacturers, and also uh, the public part, yeah, which are the regulators. Yeah. And um, since the last decades, this relationship has actually intensified. That means that at least the science behind yeah, is basically agreed on um, between the public and the private sector, meaning that drug regulation um, is still an important issue, um, um, taking quite some time in order to place medicinal products, including vaccines, on the market. But it's something which is shared. Yeah? There's a common understanding between the public and the private sector. Yeah? But it's more than that, yeah? because after um, having placed the product on the market, it should be introduced, yeah? it should be accepted yeah? by, um, let's say, um, healthcare professionals, uh, the public health system, and um, most importantly, by the public. And that's very complicated, actually. Yeah? And uh, it's getting more and more complex these days uh, with all the vaccines which are on the market and which are um, within the uh, manufacturer's portfolios, because introducing these into vaccination programs and caring about um, wide acceptability within the population has become increasingly complex um, because uh, not all parties yeah, in, a, in, a, in a national system or in a European system support the use of vaccines or at least um, not the use of all vaccines and that depends on the diversity uh, or divergence of the health insurance programs yeah, on uh, let's say the financial capacity of health insurance systems and that's the future challenge actually yeah, to not only harmonize drug regulation but also to harmonize implementation of vaccination programs because that gives um, much better certainty to manufacturers to plan in advance and to care about um, um, procurement with sufficient amounts of vaccines.